Hello, Junior Doctors. Welcome back to Junior Doctor Fiona Chow's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about chapter 11 of part two of The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat. So this chapter is called Cupid's Disease. So as you possibly may know, Cupid's disease is also known as syphilis. So this chapter is basically about this woman called Natasha Kay, and she's 90 years old. However, um, two years ago, before um, the story took place, she noticed a, quote, delightful change in herself because she suddenly felt really, really good about herself and became flirtatious, became giggly, became having this really bubbly personality. And Natasha's, Kay, Natasha's friends are really concerned about her because it's an abrupt change of personality. So she tells herself, quote, you're feeling too well, you have to be ill. She tells Oliver Sacks that she thinks she has Cupid's disease, which is syphilis, as I have mentioned before, because she used to be a sex worker for 70 years earlier in this brothel in Salonica, Greece. And Sacks, when he conducted the test, it is proven that Natasha K did indeed have neurosyphilis. But Natasha also mentioned how she actually loves her bubbly character personality that she has right now due to Cupid's disease. So Oliver Sacks did like this compromise, whereas um, he only used antibiotics to kill the spirochetus, but the changes in her personality still is there. So she is still this bubbly personality this bubbly person but she doesn't have syphilis anymore so it's actually really interesting because if we draw a parallel to another story for instance um the story about miguel O, it could be shown that um oliver Sacks is this doctor of He's not all about medicine, all about antibiotics and the results of these antibiotics. He is more of this doctor who considers the patient's situation and their hopes and then does his diagnosis and prescribes the medication. So that's what I found really interesting throughout many of the stories in this chat in this book because you can really see how similar yet really different every chapter really is so that'd be it for this week's youtube channel and thank you so much for watching and remember to hit that like button subscribe and turn on post notifications thank you and see you next time